The finalized Microsoft and Activision Blizzard deal offers the potential for the revival of beloved game series. And that is according to Xbox CEO Phil Spencer in a recent Xbox podcast where he made an appearance. Yeah, I did not know, by the way, that Xbox had an official podcast. However, a crucial condition for these revivals is the genuine passion and motivation of the development teams as Microsoft is not interested in merely creating games for financial gain or public public relations stunts, or at least that's what they're saying. You know about the acquisition, okay? With this uh, acquisition that is very big, Microsoft has obviously gained a substantial number of intellectual properties, and Phil Spencer expressed his admiration for this vast collection, but he emphasized that there is no rush in revisiting fan-favorite franchises without a genuine commitment from the development teams. Phil Spencer says he believes that when a team is truly passionate about a project, it then leads to the best results. And I agree with that. You shouldn't just like force out revivals or remakes right away just for a cash grab. And there are a lot of different uh, IPs or series that people are wanting revived that are belonging to Activision and, well, now belong to Xbox. Just to name a few, Spyro, Skylanders, Guitar Hero, and even Tony Hawk. Yeah, you learn something new every day. I did not know that the Tony Hawk video game series was owned by uh, Activision. But Phil Spencer says that his number one priority is ensuring that the teams involved are fully dedicated to the endeavor. Now, he did suggest that Xbox Game Pass might enable them to revisit a few franchises each year, but right now there are no concrete plans for that. I think that would be a great idea, you know, uh, once in a while just kind of bring back some classics. Yeah, give me some Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Give me a little bit of nostalgia every now and then. I like that. So obviously this new deal grants Microsoft considerable creative control. Although Activision Blizzard's primary focus has been Call of Duty, the acquisition obviously includes a number of very big titles, leaving a lot of people hopeful for their revival under Xbox's direction. Like I said, another one of those series is Guitar Hero. I did actually see recently that CEO Bobby Kotick discussed the possibility of Guitar Hero's re-emergence, I guess due to the resources available now through Xbox. That would be kind of cool. I think the only problem, though, with Guitar Hero is that you kind of need the hardware for it. Like, the consumers, the players, they need, you know, the Guitar Hero guitar controllers and unless that series like really makes a big comeback I don't think a lot of people are willing to go out and buy controllers just for that game who knows though obviously there are a lot of other IPs and uh, games by Activision Blizzard that are still going on that are already doing immensely uh, great Call of Duty obviously Candy Crush Overwatch Diablo World of Warcraft Starcraft those are all still going on so I don't know maybe their main focus will be these games that are already going on right now and are doing great and maybe the revivals will kind of take a back seat to them. But I think you would definitely be mistaken if you said that they are not at least considering reviving some of these games. I have a huge hunch about Spyro. I think what they did with uh, Crash two or three years ago, I think that just kind of showed how there is definitely a demand for a lot of these old IPs to come back. But like I said, I do definitely like what Phil Spencer said about bringing these games back uh, maybe every now and then on Xbox Game Pass, like just kind of porting them to the Xbox rather rather than remaking them or revisiting them completely and just kind of bringing back like some old nostalgia every now and then. To me, that was the uh, highlight of this whole thing. I I really like that idea. But with the new directive of Xbox now, it is very interesting to think about which one of these old IPs from Activision Blizzard may get remade or even revived in the very near future.